Welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Cruise video. Today I'm telling you what you need to know before sailing on Royal Caribbean's Brilliance of the Seas. The Brilliance of the Seas is a Radiance class ship, which are on the smaller side of the Royal Caribbean ships, but still have lots of fun activities on board. So let's get going, but before we do, if you like this type of cruise content, you know the drill, please subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. It really helps us out. First thing you should know is that Brilliance of the Seas was launched in 2002 as a second Radiance class ship built by Royal Caribbean, so it's currently 21 years old and in my opinion really, really showing her age. My cruise on Brilliance in December 2022 was the first time that I was on board a Radiance class ship, and the ship had some really nice charm in places including tons and tons of glass and natural light flowing through the ship. I love the social areas of the ship like the oversized schooner bar, the Jakarta Lounge, and the Colony Club in the stern of Deck 6. If you want a full tour of the ship, check out our Brilliance of the Seas full ship tour which we've noted below. And if you'd like our full thoughts on the ship, you can check out our review video as well. So Brilliance of the Seas underwent a renovation in 2013 and some sort of smaller renovation in 2018, but my time on board definitely shows the need for another one. Many buttons on the elevators were burned out in my experience. The overall style of the ship felt really dated, but overall, I felt like these issues were relatively minor. What I did love was the size of the ship, which was super easy to move around the ship with decks you could walk from one end all the way to the other very easily, which surprisingly isn't always the case on large ships. Um, I really did love just the overall feeling of like a smaller ship and getting to know the crew. Uh, just something that's kind of missing from those bigger ships like the Oasis class. Next, if you're sailing on Brilliance of the Seas in the near future, it's sailing from a number of different ports, including New Orleans, Vancouver, Hawaii, and even Sydney, Australia. I sailed her from Tampa Bay, Florida, which was my first time in the area. I love the downtown location of the port right next to the aquarium there, making it super easy to walk to the ship from my pre-cruise hotel, which was the JW Marriott Tampa. It was fantastic, so I do recommend checking out our resort video tour on the channel as well. Once you've booked your cruise, you're going to want to download the Royal Caribbean app if you haven't already. You can plan a ton of your activities for your cruise before you leave home, and you'll be rewarded with discounts on most of your activities for doing so, including beverage packages and limited dining, shore excursions, and even arcade credits. I focus my pre-bookings around sale periods like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, where I've napped serious savings. Think 50% off. You can check in for your cruise 45 days in advance, making your arrival super easy and quick. I've been on board the ship in less than 30 minutes from port arrival, uh, but with this ship, I actually arrived at the port a little bit early, just a little antsy to get on board, I guess, after my uh, tour of the aquarium next door. And eh, once boarding began, it was really quick. On board, I'll detail some of my favorite things to do. First, I like to get to the ship as early as possible on sail away day, as there are many things to do on board. I am paying for this after all, so the sooner I get on board, the sooner my vacation truly starts. Once on board, I make any restaurant recommendations that I haven't already made. Uh, they often offer a discount, especially restaurants on the first night to get you in the door. I've gotten up to 50% off, so if that's something you're interested in, please take advantage. The pool is going to be super popular on all warm weather cruises, and even if you're sailing in a cold weather location, the fully enclosed solarium on Brilliance of the Seas is absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite spaces on any of the Royal Caribbean ships that I've been on. So get on board early and score a seat to start the pool action early before the crowds. Since this is a smaller ship, my normal advice for water slide line avoidance isn't really applicable since it's really just a smaller kid size slide on the Brilliance. When it's time to dine, I do have a few tips for on board. Brilliance of the Seas features a Windjaber Cafe in the main dining room like all the other ships across Royal Caribbean's fleet. If you're using my time dining, be sure to reserve those times you want in advance. You can do that every night of your vacation once you're connected to the ship's Wi-Fi in the app. So no need to buy an internet plan to use the app. You can just do it straight from your phone. Uh, weights can get kind of crazy for a table sometimes, especially if you're not willing to wait for a table with another party. Though I do feel like my experience on board the Brilliance of the Seas was a little bit less chaotic than on the Voyager, Freedom, and Oasis class ships. I like to pick out at least one specialty restaurant dining meal during my trip, and the Brilliance has a number of Royal Caribbean staples on board, including Chops Grill and Azumi. However, I felt like the food of the Windjammer was the best of all the Royal Caribbean ships that I've sailed on recently, including lots of great ethnic food options with lots of flavor and cool theme nights. I have several favorite bars on board as well. One of my favorite bars on any Royal Caribbean ship is the Schooner Bar. 
It's very nautical and big on the brilliance of the seas. So big that I think that they could utilize some of the space a little bit more, but the charm is definitely there. I love the King and Crown Lounge as well, which is the ship's pub. It has real darts, uh, so they actually have dark competitions on board, which I happen to win, which is great. And the Viking Crown Lounge for the 360 degree views of all the ports and of course the ocean. As far as entertainment goes, Brilliance of the Seas has a ton of classic cruise staples like the Pacifica Theater for Broadway style shows. Kind of hidden nearby is a movie theater, which you won't even find on the Oasis class ships. It's definitely very dated, but something cool for maybe any port talks or some of the smaller, more lecture style events. There's of course a casino, which was quite smoky on board and a lot of live music flows throughout the ship with programmed games and activities throughout the day that you can check up on in the Royal Caribbean app. Finally, let's talk cabin selection. For me, location of the cabin isn't super important on the Brilliance for the size of the ship, but I'd recommend an ocean view or balcony on this ship as it affords great views. There aren't as many cabins on board as some of the larger ships, which is definitely a major positive to sailing on Brilliance of the Seas. Well, those are some of the things that you should know before sailing on Brilliance of the Seas. As I said, check out the full tour of Brilliance below and for a full review of the sailing, and please subscribe to our channel. Happy sailing, everyone.